Welcome to the Holiday Podcast, where we sit over some homemade challah on Friday afternoons here at my dining room table. I'm your host, Tammy Priest, a Jewish follower of Jesus, and it's great to be with you this week as we take another look at the intersection of the old and the new. Well, tomorrow is an important anniversary on the Jewish calendar. Um, so obviously anniversaries are occasions when we remember really important things. Like right before the pandemic, we celebrated my in-laws 50th wedding anniversary, which was awesome. Um, and I learned that this year is the 100th anniversary of insulin being created. Um, but on a not so happy note, I also learned that it's the 100th anniversary of Hitler becoming the leader of the Nazi party which is a reminder that even though we usually think of anniversaries as recalling happy things, sometimes they commemorate really bad moments, which brings me back to the important anniversary on the Jewish calendar I mentioned earlier. Because tomorrow is actually a painful anniversary. And incredibly, not just of one thing or even two things. Um, tomorrow is called Tisha B'Av, which means the ninth of Av, the month of Av. And there are so many painful things that happened on this date, beginning all the way back with the Israelites in the desert. The ninth of Av is when the spies returned from scouting out Canaan and gave their bad report to Moses. And then just some of the other things that happened on Tisha B'Av are the destruction of both the first and the second temple in Jerusalem. And then in more modern times, um, the expulsion of the Jews from England in the 1200s. Um, and Germany entering World War I. And the Nazi party's formal approval of the final solution to literally round up and murder all the Jewish people. Um, even the beginning of the mass deportation of Jews from Warsaw to Treblinka, the extermination camp, happened on the 9th of Av. So Tisha B'Av is definitely a day of deep mourning. And so on that day, tomorrow, observant Jews fast for 25 hours from food and drink and pretty much all activities except for reading scripture. Now, some people might think this is strange to remember the bad, uh, to remember the painful. Um, in fact, if you've ever been to a Jewish wedding, you know that a tradition is to have the groom stomp on a glass um, wrapped in a napkin so that um, no one gets hurt um, to commemorate the destruction of the temple. Um, and also some rabbis say to remember that human relationships are fragile. Um, but why on this really joyful celebration of marriage do we remind people to think about pain and brokenness? Even celebrate it, really, because people cheer and clap at this moment um, in the wedding. Well, we do it because we're remembering God's faithfulness despite these tragedies. We remember his promises for future redemption and restoration. And isn't that exactly what we believers do with the cross? When we hang sparkly um, crosses around our necks, we're beautifying something that was horrifying, um, but we beautify it because Jesus beautified it. What happened on the cross was gruesome and still brings us incredible grief to think about, but because of it, we have redemption. We have peace, and restoration and reconciliation and life to the full. So today on this Sabbath Eve, the Eve of Tisha B'Av, I invite you to remember the bad, to remember the painful places that God has brought you through, um, that even if people left you, he did not, um, and to hang on to his presence in the midst of the bad to remind you of the hope that he offers, both now and from an eternal perspective. So I pray that you'll use your Sabbath rest to rest in hope, even as you remember the bad, 
even if you're walking through a season of brokenness right now, especially if you're walking through a season of brokenness right now, because the bad and broken places, as the cross reminds us, are places where hope and beauty can take root and flourish. And so in the midst of life's broken places, I pray that you would find rest and hope on this hollow.